Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Notification Center in the Windows 11 desktop shows notifications from Windows 11 apps and the date in two separate sections at the right side of the Windows 11 screen. To view the Notification Center in Windows 11, click the Notification Center button at the right end of the Windows taskbar. This button shows the date and time and the Focus Assist setting within it. When you click it, you will see the current date appear in a calendar above the button. If there are any notifications to show in Windows 11, they appear in a section above that. You can then read, clear, and manage the notifications as desired. If there are no notifications, this section doesn't appear. To hide the Notification Center in Windows 11, click the Notification Center button in the taskbar again. Quick Settings in Windows 11 lets you quickly change common settings without opening the Settings app window. Some settings appear by default and you can customize the quick settings you can change if desired. To show the quick settings in Windows 11, click the Quick Settings button towards the right end of the taskbar to the left of the Notification Center button. The Quick Settings button shows icons for the internet connection status, sound status, and battery, if available, on its face. In the Quick Settings pane, you can change the values of the settings that appear to set them as desired. For example, you can click the Airplane Mode Quick Settings button to toggle airplane mode on or off for your device, or use the Volume slider to increase or decrease the volume. Clicking the right pointing arrow button on quick settings buttons that show a right pointing arrow shows a secondary pane of settings choices you can click to toggle on or off as needed. To return to the main quick settings pane, click the back arrow button in the upper left corner of the pane. To choose which settings to show in the quick settings pane in Windows 11, Click the Edit Quick Settings button at the bottom of the pane, which looks like a pencil icon, to show the current settings. To remove a current setting, click its pin icon in its upper right corner to unpin it. To add a new setting, click the Add button at the bottom of the pane, and then select the name of the quick setting to add from the pop-up menu that appears. It is then added to the next available location in the pane. To change the order of the settings in the pane, click and drag a quick setting and then release it in the desired location. To apply your changes when finished, click the Done button at the bottom of the pane. To access the Settings app window from the Quick Settings pane, click the All Settings button, which looks like a cog icon, in the lower right corner of the main Quick Settings pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.